Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna work on a new shape this week, uh, but before we do, I wanna go over our first four shapes. These are the four main shapes. These are the shapes that we have to test you on in kindergarten. I have tested you. Most of you knew the shapes. Uh, some of you missed one or two, or maybe got a couple mixed up, so we wanna keep reviewing, right? I think everyone got this one. Remember, this is Cindy Circle. Okay, Cindy Circle is a curved line. So if you start at the top, you go around and connect it at the top, or you could go this way. It's a curved line. There's no straight lines. There's no sides. There's no corners, right? And this, of course, is Sandy Square. Sandy Square has four sides and four corners. One, two, three, four. The important thing about Sandy Square is that all four sides are the same. If we took a ruler and measured them, they would all be exactly the same. I don't know what that is. I don't have a ruler here, but let's just say that seven inches, seven, seven, and seven, something like that. All four sides would be exactly the same. This one, most kids got this one. This was triangle, uh, Tommy triangle. There's three sides, one, two, three, and three corners. One, two, three. Two of the sides are slanted. And this is Ricky rectangle. How many sides does it have? Four. Okay, now if that has four sides and this has four sides, that's why kids sometimes get these two mixed up. They both have four sides, they both have four corners, but the square, all four sides are the same. Rectangle, the sides are different. There's two short sides on this one, the top and the bottom are short, and the left and the right side are you know, much longer, or it could be going this direction and then the top and the bottom are longer, right? So. All four sides are not the same. Two are short, two are long. Okay, now uh, we also went over in the packet, we also uh, spent just a little bit of time on oval and diamond, okay? But we don't have to test you on those, it's just good to know. Um, now the new one, we don't have to test you on either, but the new one is called Hexagon, and it is the last page in this little packet. Okay, so if you get the packet out and you turn to hexagon, we'll go ahead and do these two pages. But before we do, I did make a little hexagon um, and I used purple. And I don't think I'm gonna assign this, boys and girls, but I found a poem too for a hexagon. And so it's called Honey the Hexagon. I'm honey hexagon, I live in a hive. I have six corners and six sides. So if you've ever seen uh, the bee flies to the, uh, the hive, the hive has little cells in it that are shaped like hexagons. I have a picture of that somewhere. If I can't find it, I'll look for one on the computer and show you guys, because it was a really cool picture of a beehive. And you could see the little cells in there where the bees crawl in and make their honey. And each one is sh shaped like a hexagon. So take a look at this. This is a really unusual shape, isn't it? First of all, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Have we had a shape with six sides? No, we have not. We've had zero sides, a circle. We had three sides for the triangle. We had four sides for the square. We had four sides for the rectangle, right? So this is the first shape that has had six sides, okay? Now, take a look at the sides. I've got a straight line on the top, a straight line on the bottom, but look, this is slanted and this is slanted. This is slanted, this is slanted, or I could hold it like that. Now it's pointy on the top and the bottom. Slant, straight, slant, slant, straight. So two, one, two, three, four sides that are slanted, two sides that are straight. That's how you know it's a hexagon. Now a lot of times kids see this and they say, right, first thing they say octagon. Octagon has eight sides. So it's just a little bit different than an octagon. Uh, but that's a good guess. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the paper. So I found it in my packet, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just trace the word hexagon. What do you think hexagon starts with? <laughs> hey, we did H a few weeks ago. That would have been a good word to put on our poster, right? Huh? Actually, that would have been a good week to do hexagon. Next year, I have to remember that. Let's do H hexagon when we do the letter H. So I'm just tracing that. I'll go back and color that. Now it says trace the hexagon. Now, first we better find it. Is this a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five. No, it only has five sides, so I'm gonna X that out. That's a pentagon. Okay, now this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, 
Okay, now this one's a little bit tricky. People might think that's a hexagon, but look at the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it almost looks like a, a circle, but the sides are, there's some straight and some slanted sides, so I better X that one out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I found my hexagons. What I'm gonna do is trace them with a pencil first, and then I'll go back and color them later, okay? But I'm gonna have I'm gonna trace with pencil. Since I have my pencil and I'm gonna use it. I already used my pencil here, and I'm gonna use my pencil here. So I might as well trace those with pencil and then go back and color it. Draw a hexagon. Now I will tell you it's gonna be a little bit tricky, okay? Kids do have a hard time with this, but if you think about this, I'm gonna put a straight line at the top. And I'm going to slant to the right and slant to the left. So, so far, look, straight line, slant to the left, slant to the right, vice versa. Now I'm going to slant down the other way. So now I'm going to slant the opposite way towards the bottom. So now I'm going to slant this way and this way, and then I'll put a straight line on the bottom. Now, that's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'm going to try it again. Now, this time maybe I'll do better. Straight on the top, slant to the left, slant to the right. Now I'm going to slant the opposite way. So boys and girls, do your best. Just give it a try. I was trying to think if there were hexagons in our little shape basket. If there are, I'm going to take a peek real quick. I should have thought about that beforehand. If there are, then we could trace around them, right? Um, oh, there are not. I think I have some at school, but in the shapes I gave you guys, there, there are no hexagons, okay? So do the best you can. Maybe mom and dad can help you out there. Okay, now right here, that's a little bit harder. It says write the name of the shape. We're gonna write hexagon. It's right here. I'm gonna write it with a lowercase, but that's all right if you do capital. Huh, eh, x. I hear that X in there. Uh, g, g, little g on, <coughs> okay, and I'll color that later. How many sides? We've counted them a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're good at making sixes now, aren't we? Down and around with a big fat tummy. Ah, how many? Oops, boys and girls, I made a mistake. This doesn't say how many sides. I just guessed that it did. How many corners? One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is six. Now how many sides? Six. Okay, now it says to trace the sides. We're just gonna trace it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, they did one side of the hexagon for us. Now we're gonna do the other side. So this was a straight line, slant down to the right, slant to the left, and then a straight line on the bottom. So we get to make the other side, the other half. Do the best you can. And then you can make one more over here on the dots. When you have the dots, it's like doing connect the dots. I'm gonna slant, Romeo, just a minute, buddy. He wants. I think he's hungry. Okay, so I am done. That's all we have to do. Now that we introduced hexagon, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to go, and please don't do this today, okay? We're going to go finally do this little book, okay? It's called I See Shapes. I was waiting till we got to all the shapes in here and waiting till we got the sight words I and C, which we have now, and A. So it'll be a great little book, but we're going to save that for tomorrow. Just do these two pages today. Okay, good job. Hexagon.